I sometimes say that there were only two people in my career who really intimidated me. One was Betsy Coleman, who was my son's tutor. I think she learned it from the nuns. <laughs> and one was John Morris. And everyone in the room here probably knows uh, the book Good to Great, uh, where the formula begins with get the wrong people off the bus. Um, John didn't really subscribe to that. When John joined the company, he didn't just fire the existing leadership team and bring in a group uh, from his inner circle to turn things around. He had the experience and the patience to relearn the company. The other three people uh, that I want to share this award really are our Pittsburgh heroes. Jim McGovern, George McGovern, and my father. They trusted in each other. They had a bond that wouldn't let each other fail. And they kept it going. It seems that she leaves nobody out of the list of the people that she helps. So with a schedule like this, it's no surprise that normally when we see her, it's running out, gathering her things, most likely to go help and inspire someone else. Over these years, Alana has been a trusted source of advice for me personally, especially through the toughest scenarios and hardest times our company has faced. She actually makes seemingly insurmountable problems really fun to solve. Thank you so much to Rich Lunak and all my colleagues at Innovation Works for giving me the chance to help build the entrepreneurial community in Pittsburgh. He drove himself to succeed working 18 hours, seven days a week. He drove himself very, very hard. He always worked. But it all paid off in a career that saw Jack taking a leading role in the early days of the computer industry. To turn and raise a glass to Jack. Cheers, Jack. I would never have expected not to be here in person to accept this special award. But you people are lucky. You have a better person than I accepting the award.